ಗಣಪತಿ ಶಾರದ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಗುರು ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಗುರುರ್ವಿಷ್ಣು ಗುರುದೇವೋ ಮಹೇಶ್ವರ ಗುರು ಸಾಕ್ಷಾತ್ ಪರಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ತಸ್ಮೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರವೇ ನಮಃ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಸ್ ಕೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಕೋನ್ಭಾವಲೇಕರ್ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಟುಡೇಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಈಸ್ ಸೆನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ ಪ್ಲೆಷರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ನೀದರ್ ರಿಯಲ್ ನಾರ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ how so ever great a man may be in this world there is always something wanting in his life we may occasionally come across a person who asserts that his life lacks nothing but even so he has the anxious desire that the status quo should be undisturbed which means that he is not really happy there may also be a person engrossed in sensuous pleasures or pursuits who appears to be carefree a drunken person may not care whether he is naked or clothed may even defy or challenge the king but only so long as he is under intoxication sensuous pleasures depend on transient sensuous objects that may leave us some day or our senses may become weak or we may die and who will enjoy such pleasures if he is conscious of death which is bound to claim him some day that abundance of pleasure things makes for abundant pleasure is an obvious misconception real happiness is that real happiness is that which is everlasting it can only be found with god who is himself eternal sensuous pleasure is available to beast as well as to man what then distinguishes man from beast it is the faculty which enables man to think on the fundamentals of life such as what he really is and what the purpose of his life is in every day worldly matters we think of gains and losses but they pertain to a world which is itself impermanent how can such thinking lead us to the truth we do not try and learn to be contented in a in the situation in which god has placed us and crave for better circumstances which we imagine will make us happy even our devoutness to god and submission to saints is overtly or covertly for some worldly objective isn't such devotion and submission an attempt to exploit god or a saint for a mundane purpose even superstitions we twist and interpret to suit our wish and convenience for instance if a cat crosses the path we turn back interpreting it as god's premonition that our mission will not succeed but if one's wife dies the husband does not interpret this as god's hint that begins to think of marrying again 
in short to secure worldly pleasures is our aim and we exert ourselves only for that purpose truly a man who does not introspect on his experiences in worldly life can never become wise namaste sharade devi kashmir apuravasini tvam aham prarthaye nityam vidyadanancha dehime goodbye